In this video, I review the Yi Gimbal, a super cool three axis gimbal that works with Yi cameras and similar action cameras. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media, helping you with the best tips and tools to build your influence with online video. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during the video, check out show notes and links in the description below. I'll link up to this Yi Gimbal as well as actually the brand new Yi Gimbal kit that we're also gonna be talking about in this video, all of the specs and things like that. Let's jump into the review. So if you've been around Think Media for very long, you know that I love the Yi action cameras. Some of my favorite action cameras because you get a lot of performance and a lot of specs for a very budget price. And the Yi gimbal is similar. You get a great three axis stabilizing gimbal that doesn't have to break the bank. And so let's talk about some of the details. First of all, just the gimbal itself um, is separate from this selfie stick. So you could mount it on any selfie stick um, and you could also mount it on like handlebars with other kind of rigs, which is cool, it makes it very versatile. This is sort of the base gimbal right here. Um, they rate it at two to about four and a half hours of battery life. Battery life's never been a problem. I've done a lot of shoots where we've done all day long um, and that's been great. Again, it mounts on anything um, with a normal uh, eighth inch uh, tripod screw uh, mount on the bottom there. And then it does work best or really well with the Yi selfie stick that can screw on there. You also get the Bluetooth remote, so it's really easy to switch between photo and video mode, start and stop recording. And then overall, the build quality is really solid for this gimbal. Now I'm pumped to get into the footage in just a sec that we were able to produce with this, but let's talk about the shooting modes. You've got pan mode where it's gonna allow you to kind of pan left and right. You've got lock mode, but then you have my favorite mode which is pan and tilt. And that is a really intuitive follow mode that you can see here if you, if you kind of lift up a little bit, the camera will even angle down. If you kind of go down, it knows to angle up. And so after not even much practice, this is my favorite mode. And it's really easy to follow um, whoever you're shooting and kind of get dynamic movements, even if you go up and down stairs and things like that. So that brings me to the one potential downside of this gimbal, and that is that there is not a Joey stick. And so if you are looking for a gimbal that has the ability to manually control pan and tilt and camera movements with like a thumb Joey stick, you would need to look further and for a different gimbal. But for me, it's really not a deal breaker. In fact, it actually makes the movements a little less manufactured. I found that sometimes it's a little too much for me to manage if I'm going and trying to think about the joystick movements. And so like I said, this kind of intuitive follow mode is really great for getting all the shots that I've wanted to get. But something to note, there isn't a joystick. But besides all of the specs and the build quality, the most important thing of any gear is actually the final results, right? The footage, does it perform and do what it's supposed to do? And so we've tested this in a few different environments. And the first one was recently in Southern California. And so we were able to take this out, kind of like walking along the beach. I was out there with my wife, Sonia, and it's great, right? You can see that the footage is very stable. Uh, we were able to take it up and down stairs um, with that tilt mode as we were kind of talking about as Sonia was kind of, you know, walking down the stairs and just, it has very, very smooth footage. Another um, time we were able to use this was recently at NAB. And so if we were just kind of walking on the show floor or doing some shots outside, again, uh, really great, really stable. But these first two shoots were pretty basic, mostly walking, you know, just steady footage. And that's great results. It's probably how a lot of people are going to use this gimbal. But where it really began to shine was a test that we did um, here in Las Vegas, and we went kind of running on some trails, but on top of just running with a gimbal, and I think that's a really good test, right? It's more of an extreme sports type of environment. When there's a ton of shake, how does it do? That day, the winds were about 35 plus miles per hour. You can see in some of this footage, that was absolutely insane how windy it was. And so not only was there the shake from the running, but the, also the motor was having to compensate against seriously intense wind. So when we finally got back and checked out all of this footage, I was pretty blown away. And so it was really after that shoot that I was like, this gimbal can get you the cinematic shots. It can handle intense situations, not just the build quality, but also the performance of the motor to get that smooth 
footage that you want in your videos. Okay, so let's talk about the price. Now, the kind of retail here in the US is $200 for just the gimbal itself. And that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. Again, in that particular scenario, you can get the selfie stick from Yi or, or use any selfie stick, right? Use anything that'll screw into the tripod screw um, for your handle. Um, but the selfie stick, I believe, comes in for like another 45 if you were to buy them separately. And then you can use it with um, any uh, Yi camera that you would want to use it with. So not just the, I think the 4K is on there right now. You could use it with the original Yi um, that is a 1080p action camera, or you can use it with the 4K Plus as well. And you could try it for other action cameras that are of similar shape and size, but I would think that this would generally be a gimbal that you would grab if you already have a Yi camera. And there's actually a super cool, relatively new offering from Yi right now, and that is actually a gimbal kit that is available. Now this is where the value really shines in my opinion. And so Yi sent me this a while ago to test out, and it really crushes as far as value goes. So inside of this kit, you get the gimbal itself, you get the selfie stick, and you get a Yi 4K camera. Not the plus version, but the 4K is amazing. And the total value of this particular kit is around $500, yet the price is discounted because it's bundled in this super cool kind of vinyl case. Um, so you can just take everything with you. Comes in at 399 US. And so again, that is some pretty incredible value. To get the selfie stick, to get the 4K camera, to also get the gimbal, um, for about $100 off, and then the case is kind of like a bonus, is, is pretty cool, assuming that, again, you haven't got a Yi camera yet. So maybe you're actually looking for the full package. Having tested this all out together, it's basically this setup, I would say that that is one of the best values out there right now for an action camera, selfie stick, gimbal, gimbal combo. So whether you've already invested in the lineup of Yi equipment, the gimbal itself is a great deal, or maybe if you haven't even jumped into an action camera gimbal setup, the uh, bundle gimbal kit is also a killer solution for a great value. And I think that might be a limited time price, I'm not sure, definitely check out links in the description to um, see the current prices on this gimbal kit. So, so as far as my final thoughts go, I think that the Yi gimbal is super solid. I mean, you see the footage, like that's the point. That cinematic, smooth footage, no shake, dynamic shots, that's why you get gimbals, and the Yi definitely delivers. I think at $200, you know, compared to other gimbals out there uh, on the market, there are some that are a little bit cheaper. There's quite a few that are a lot more expensive, and so I believe that this comes into the market with a great value and obviously great performance. And then I also think that this kit is pretty exciting. This is something that I'm gonna be recommending to a lot of people who want just kind of an all-in-one solution to get a great action camera, to get that gimbal, to get the selfie stick, all in one package that's very easy to take with you, keep protected, travel with, and things like that. Again, if you want a Joey stick, you gotta look for a different gimbal. This one does not have the thumb, thumb Joey stick, but if that's not a deal breaker, it's not for me, then I think that you won't uh, be disappointed if you check out this setup. Question of the day, have you started using any action camera gimbals yet? What kind of results are you getting with them? Let me know in the comment section below. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. Hit the like button if you got value out of this video. And if you haven't downloaded the Think Media TV Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's actually a complete guide where I go through all of my favorite gear, really for creating online video content for every budget. Lighting, tripods, cameras, things like that. So if you wanna grab that for free, there's a link in the description below as well as on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media is helping you with the tips and tools for building your influence with online video. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Probably pretty good. Uh...